Hi, my name's Laura and I'm going to show you around the outside of the building and the inside of the building of Lockheed Leisure Centre today. We're here at the bottom of Lockheed High Street where the library and the swimming centre share a building. It's a big red brick building. It was opened in 1894 and the building was gifted to the people of Lockheed by Thomas Hunter Cox. He was one of the Duke Barons and he gifted the building. There is a big date up here in Iron in 1894, so everybody knows. This has came about because some people have said that they don't know exactly where in Lockheed the swimming centre is and they don't know what facilities are available. So we thought we'd show you today. I think we're just going to walk up, show you the first entrance to the building. This is the accessibility entrance, so for anybody that's got mobility issues, they would come here press the button, speak to reception and the lifeguard would come down and open the door. This gives you direct access into the pool level so you don't have to use any stairs. Okay, we're going to go round towards the main entrance to the building now. So the main entrance to the building is on St Mary's Lane, which is just opposite the start of the bypass. Here we've got a big sign showing us what facilities there are in the opening times. Okay, so let's go up St Mary's Lane. So this is us just about finished on the outside of the building. We'll go on the inside and we'll see what facilities are in there. So we're just walking up St Mary's Lane, up towards the main entrance. At the bottom of St Mary's Lane, there is a little car park that can be used in access. So here we are just at the main entrance. Yet again, another sign with what facilities are in the building to opening times. And the reason we've got that accessibility entrance is because this one has got stairs, which if you've got mobility issues could cause a problem. Okay, so here we are in the main entrance. Here's Brenda. Hi. She's supposedly the quiet one of Lockheed. I She's am. got the best customer service in Dundee. <laughs> right, always greeted with a smile. <laughs> so here we've got the foyer area. Off to the side is the sauna and the steam room. We'll come back and have a look in a minute. We've got our notice boards. Showing what's on. Toilets. Vending machines. Little seating area. We'll come back up here in a minute. This door here takes us through to the swimming pool. We'll come on the balcony. you can spectate the pool. As you can see, an old Victorian style pool. Some of the tiles are still original, some of them on the walls and on the bottom, and they're actually oven baked glass. So we'll come down, have a little nosy. Walking down towards the shallow end, and you can see the accessibility door there that we showed you from the outside. This is where you can enter, follow through to the changing rooms. Okay, right, we'll head out again. What we'll do now is we'll head downstairs and go through the changing rooms and gain access to the pool. Okay, so back out the door, into the foyer. These are notice boards. Got a you said we did board, little information leaflets, timetable, and other information. We've also got a poster up here about our pool parties we're having in the summer. There's one on Saturday. Come in, so if you're interested in bringing the kids along, having a little party. Okay, let's head down the stairs. This area in the olden days used to be called the dungeon, like walking down into the dungeon. Here's a wall with our activity timetable. It's not got all the things that are available, but if you're coming past, you can have a little look and see what's on different days, different times. Come through to the changing rooms. These are now unisex change. They opened about two years ago. It's much brighter, much cleaner. Here's our changing rooms. And our cubicles. Nice big bright area. 
got a big disability change with access to a chair, changing bed, come round, family change, disability toilet, hair dryers, female toilets, male toilets, walk through this area and this will take us through the shower area and onto poolside. So this is a communal showers. There are also shower cubicles that I'll show you in a minute when we're walking back up. Okay, so here's the pool area. This is the area we've seen from the balcony. Shallow end with access to a hoist for the people that have got mobility issues. Taking us up towards the deep end. I'd just like to show you the fountain that was gifted by Thomas Hunter Potts when he gifted the building to the people of Lockheed. It's original, it's been here from the very beginning, along with some of the tiles. Some of the tiles are still original as well. Okay, we'll head out. Head back up the stairs. I'll show you the other side of the changing rooms now. So back through the communal showers. But if we decide we don't want to have a communal shower, we would like a bit more privacy. We do have a few shower cubicles. And here, and here. And there's also a disability shower cubicle as well. It's just got a bigger area. So we're heading back up the opposite side of the changing rooms. And there's also an assisted door as well for people to gain entrance. Right, so that's our changing rooms. And we'll head back up the stairs, have a look in the gym. Have a look in the sauna in the steam room. Wave bye bye to Brenda. <laughs> right. So, unfortunately, with this building being a listed building, they can't change anything on the outside. That's why we can't have a lift access. So, we have to use the disability. Right, so continuing our tour, we're back upstairs, heading up to the drain. See what's going on in here. Okay, so, back in the foyer area, entrance to the gym. Quite a big area. Blue. Right, so, this is our free weights area, which is probably our biggest free weights area. We have CV. Okay, we've got CV equipment, machines, and we've also got a punch bag, which people have long PC to be in it. This is also the area where the fitness classes are. Things like low impact aerobics, yoga, boxer size, which is just coming back on. So if you're interested, give it a go. Okay, right, we'll head back in. And we'll have a look at the sauna and the steam room. Okay, so we're nearly finished our tour. We'll head back into the foyer. And our last place we'll head through to the sauna and the steam room. This was renovated about two years ago as well. And the changing rooms got done. It's nice and bright, nice and airy. Little toilet. Little seating area where you can relax, watch the telly, read your paper, have a little snack. Cubicles, lockers, hair dryer. And then I'll show you the sauna and the steam room. Here's the sauna, front facing sauna. And then we'll head up to the steam room. Shower area, we also have a cold shower, hot showers, and the steam room. This is the perfect place to unwind. After you've either finished in your gym session, had a swim, come up here, saw in a steam room, relax, and you're ready to go. So that almost finishes our tour of the building. We'll go back out the main entrance and we'll say bye. So finished in the foyer, we've seen the pool, the gym, 
Sean in the steam room. Hi, Brenda. Hi. <laughs> Might they come back now? <laughs> And that's us. So, thank you for taking the time to watch us today. This is Lockie Leisure Centre. I'm Laura, and I'll see you later. Bye.